On December 3, 1987, the Phoenix Fire Department conducted tests on the flammability of chemical protective clothing. These tests involved chemical protective suits of various types from a wide cross-section of manufacturers. To test the flammability of each ensemble, a mannequin was positioned in an upright manner in the middle of a 15-square-foot burn pan, which was then filled with a half-gallon of toluene. The mannequin was outfitted with firefighter protective clothing and or fire protective jumpsuits as required. The only exception to this was burn number five, which tests the use of chemical protective clothing without any type of additional protection. The following conditions existed at the time of the test. The temperature was 66 degrees and the wind was calm. Temperatures were measured approximately 24 inches above the liquid pan using a remote heat sensor and varied from 360 to 525 degrees Fahrenheit. You will now observe the tests which have been numbered one through five. An audio tone will sound 10 seconds into each burn. Test number one is the ChemFab challenge suit made of Teflon and Nomex. Test number two is the MSA ChemProof 2 of Vortex and Neoprene. The suit boot area failed in approximately five to eight seconds. The suit fell out of the pan area, but flame propagation continued. Notice the destruction of the Nomex jumpsuit. Test number three is the Trailborg Trailcam Super. Made of Viton Butyl with an aluminum flash protective outer shell and non-fire resistive substrata. Notice the light colored puff of smoke coming from the bottom of the coat area. This was a small flashover that occurred between the flash garment and the chemical protective clothing. Notice the destruction of all three layers of the protective garment. Since this test, Trellborg has redesigned their flash garment. Test number four is the standard safety winter glow of polyvinyl chloride. Due to the rate of burn and the lack of mannequins, this test was prematurely terminated. The garment failed in nine seconds. Test number five is the Trellborg Trellkim Super made of Viton Butyl with no flash protection. Test number six is the Kapler cocoon made of Saranex and Tyvek.
Within the first five seconds, this garment evaporated, but the firefighter protective clothing, which met NFPA 1971 specs, appeared to hold up satisfactorily. Test number seven is the Sigel Chemtex hooded splash suit of 80% PVC and 20% nylon. This was the last burn and the last mannequin. It was allowed to burn for a full one minute. <laughs> 